can boast about having the most delicious national foods. Or the least delicious. Gotta try them all either way, right? Let's do that together right now in another amazing challenge from our channel, Ideas for Fun. Well, Sophie, is everything ready for today's international party? Sure looks like it. That outfit looks great on you. Where'd you get it? Oh, and who do we have here in a wonderfully large sombrero? Hi, Emma. Turn the music up, ladies. Time to dance the night away. We're gonna have a hot and spicy Mexican party. Uh, slash Japanese. I much prefer Mexican culture and cuisine. I see. You two are having a party. What's with the stupid dances? Don't you guys ever do anything else? Whatever. I just want to relax and scroll through Instagram. Come on, Matt. Join us on the dance floor. What a spoil sport. We need to teach him how to have fun. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Matt, we have a little something delicious for you. Give it a try. I promise you'll like it. What? No, can't you see I'm busy here? Just give it a chance. This is a Japanese delicacy. Sushi? I don't do fish. But I'll try a piece if that'll get you guys off my back. Why do people like this? It's just rice and raw fish. Well, what do you say? Wow, this is really good. I can't believe it. If you like it, I'm gonna try a piece too. I'm afraid there isn't enough here for you, Emma. They're all so different and each is better than the last. Now that I've started, I wouldn't say no to another piece or two. Actually, we've got something even better. You're gonna love this. A challenge involving tasty foods from different countries. Who's going first? Great idea, Matt. Rock, paper, scissors, and congrats, Sophie. Yes. Let's see what's on this one. Ooh, Mexico. Yo no hablo espanol, but uh, let's dance, amigos. Am I doing this right? Where are my maracas? Here, Sophie, a flower for your hair. Now you're ready. Gracias, Matt. Well, my outfit's just perfect for this round. You guys aren't forgetting something, are you? You know, the dish? Open it up, Soph. A burrito? Well, it looks amazing. And tastes even better. Ugh, I love me some spice. Watch where you're breathing. Holy cow, you're like a fire-breathing dragon. Sorry, guys, but I just can't stop myself. It's so wonderfully hot. And if I scoop up some extra salsa, oh, I am on fire over here. Nothing better than spicy food. I am officially in love with Mexican food. That burrito looked finger looking good. I hope I get something just as good. I choose you. Japan. I knew that luck would be on my side. Chopsticks? I haven't the first clue what to do with these. They're like little swords for a dinner battle. Fun, but now I need to use them somehow. Emma, have you really never used chopsticks? Who even thought up eating with sticks like this? That's it. I'm going for a more direct approach. Well, that's one way of doing it. <laughs> if you keep going like this, you'll never try any of what's on your plate. Ugh, I am so over these things, and I don't need them. I've got fingers, don't I? All right, now to finally give one a try. It smells funny. Wonder how it tastes. Mmm, amazing! I'm so glad I finally ate one! Well, duh, I told you, Japanese cuisine is the most delicious in the whole world. This one is completely different. Looks good. Down the hatch already. I am stuffed with sashimi and couldn't be happier about it. Wait, what's this green stuff? Emma, that's wasabi. Put it down. This one? Or no, maybe that one. This is my card. Let's see. The US. Cool. I'm sure this will be really friggin' good. Only one way to find out. French fries. I knew the states wouldn't disappoint. I'll just leave this flag of victory here. Mm. Emma, can you smell mm. that? How about we ah. all try them? Hey, get your mitts away from my fries. This portion is for one person and that person is me. Mmm, so good. Some friend you are. Oh, fine, if you really wanna try them, here. A bite for each of you, happy? Mm. Thanks, Matt. Mm. We see how much you love us. You are very welcome. With friends like you, who needs enemies? Heads up, Matt. Nice swing there, ladies. Hey, that hurt. You asked for it. I'm fit to die of hunger over here thanks to Matt's greediness. But wait, it's my turn. Yes, and this card right here is looking right at me. Buongiorno, Italy. Now that's right up my alley. Whoa, look at you. Wow. Huh? I'm 
sure it'll be a delectable dish. Lift the lid already! Pizza! Pizza? It's a dream come true! Accessory time! That's more like it. I'm ready. Oh my, a whole pizza just for me? I think I'll start with a big piece. Oh no, it's falling apart! And a greasy piece of meat is threatening to ruin my beautiful blouse! It's not the pizza's fault you're so clumsy. It's fine. I can fix this in a flash. Sophie, stop! Where are you going? You left your pizza with them? While the cat's away, the mice will eat. Oh man, she could have left me one little piece. You? What about me? I'm back! What do you guys think? Mmm, it was mm. yummy, BT Dubs. <gasps> Emma, you're up! Good luck! I'm chomping at the bit. Russia? I can't even imagine what kind of dish this'll be. Interesting. Wow. I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> and here it is. Smells delicious. And it's such a big portion. Anyone think they know what it is? Guess I'll find out. I don't know, still clueless. Okay, it doesn't look great, to be honest. It's soup, right? It's borscht, guys. Dig in already, you'll love it. No choice, really, huh? Mm. It's pretty darn good. Really? Really, really? Then maybe you'll share a spoonful? Just a small one. Oh. No way, mister. No help needed. The bowl's almost empty. A few gulps, and it'll be gone. I highly recommend you try borscht the first chance you get. You won't regret it. I've got no doubt about that. Oh. Hope you're really, really stuffed. No need for that. It's almost your turn. Okay, sit back, you two. It's my go, and don't hold your breath on me sharing. Oh, England, all right. The English are all about good, hearty food. Don't let me down, UK. Oh, wow, it's already here. I have a sixth sense when it comes to food, and that dish is definitely something special. See, I was right. Fried eggs and bacon? The best breakfast or lunch or whatever a guy could ask for. I'm gonna take my time and prepare myself as needed for this. A knife in one hand and a fork in the other, shall we? Do excuse me, sir, or your lordship. Are the eggs to your liking? This is a gift from the English gods of food. I had no idea that the UK possessed such culinary wonders. I'm done standing on ceremony. Open wide. Matt, oh no. What are you doing, man? Now this is more like it. That knife and fork were only slowing me down. Remind me to leave you off the guest list for my next dinner party. It is what it is. Can distract us from the slob. The last card is all mine. France. <gasps> this is gonna be decadent. My head is full of delicate pastries and rich flavors. You know what? I actually have some French roots, albeit distantly. This beret will really put me in the mood for French food. I can't wait. <gasps> A croissant. How perfect. Mm. Ugh, I am so jealous. Of course you are. I've been transported mm. to a little cafe in Paris. Ugh, my mouth is watering. Hmm, something is missing though. <gasps> That's it exactly. I shall be making a French sandwich with my personal recipe. First, I need to cut it open, then add in a few tasty things. Mm. Cheese, obviously, and lots of it. Can you smell that? Then a bit of ham. Now this is the best thing I've seen all day. Emma, you're forgetting something. Don't you need a cup of rich coffee? Ooh, merci. Now excuse me while I enjoy my vacation. Isn't that so sweet? The whole French style really works on her. A sip of hot coffee. Didn't I tell you? Just call me the culinary king. Mm -hmm. I'm on seventh heaven. Mm. <gasps> What a great day. Everybody is doing what they're doing while well, enjoying some sweets, and then it happens. They come to understand that there's nothing left but some Skittles. Three people versus one bag? This is bad. <gasps> hey! Looks like 
nobody will get it. <gasps> huh? Whoa, our gang's clothes are now Skittle style, aka colorful and bright. And that means they're now ready to get down to it and try foods in all the colors of the rainbow. Let the games begin. Our contestants will be sampling a chili pepper, seaweed salad, and french fries. Fred wants to be the first to meet this challenge. No one's envious of that dish. That's one hot pepper. Hang in there, man. Fred looks a bit like a bomb right before it explodes. A little advice for those who've bitten into something spicy, don't try and put out the fire in your mouth by drinking water. Milk works a thousand times better. Next up is seaweed that goes just perfectly with Haley's turtleneck. <gasps> Her face says that she doesn't much care about that, though. Fun fact, there's more calcium in seaweed than milk can even dream of. Drum roll, please, for Rachel's plate of french fries. Isn't she the lucky one this round? A couple of fries dipped in ketchup is much more satisfying than stinky seaweed, but not nearly as healthy. Oh well, let's allow Rachel to enjoy the moment. Who knows what she'll get next. Moving on to round two, while Fred continues to worry about what he had in round one, chili burns really stay with you. This time, the fates have turned on Rachel and she's looking at a nice chunk of broccoli. The tables have turned for Haley too, but the deal has been sweetened for her. Literally. Aww. <sighs> broccoli, ugh, who even likes that stuff? Although to be fair, this fiber-filled veggie is supposed to be super good for you, so that's something. Rachel's expression tells me that such information won't make it taste any better. Little Miss Sweet Tooth, however, is all smiles. The perfect crunchy reward after her seaweed salad. Fred's dying of anticipation, and now he's regretting brushing to lift that box. Aww. Underneath was waiting a lip-puckering lemon. Tough break, man. The face he's making after his first bite of that yellow citrus fruit definitely deserves a like from all of those watching. Go for it, support our guy. Hey. What awaits our contestants this round? Little watermelon Ooh. candies, an apple, and cheese. Ooh, that's oh. less cheese and more chemical weapon. Good thing videos don't convey smells. Today is just not Fred's day. No getting around that. While our guy gets down to eating that rather large slice of stinky mm -hmm. cheese, Haley and Rachel are running out in search of fresh air. Hey. Although, look at that. If he just plugs his nose, it seems like that cheese ain't half bad. <laughs> A little bit of suffering has brought him in reach of a jackpot. Now he gets to enjoy Haley's mini watermelons and Rachel's apple. We'll call this a solo round. It's all you, Fred. Please don't even 
think of judging him. Fred earned all these tasty treats. Let's call this the fruit and veggie round. We've got a tomato, some pineapple, and an avocado. Congrats to Fred again. The girls are looking less than pleased with their plates. After a fiery hot chili and moldy cheese, pineapple tastes like the most heavenly thing on earth. Mm. <gasps> but if you think Haley's having a hard time with her tomato, just look at Rachel working on her half an avocado. I'm stumped on this one, to be honest. In my opinion, nothing beats a nice ripe avocado. Clearly, Rachel is of a different mind. They're chock full of good stuff, though. Come on, girls, be happy for Fred. He's the king of pineapple rings at the moment, but that may change. Welcome to the Battle of the Spreads round. On the left, insanely spicy wasabi. In the middle, mustard and jam on the right. Fred, not being one to put off the inevitable, sinks his teeth into his portion right away. Not exactly breakfast material, but all in all, compared to the other mm. things Fred's endured today, this snack just isn't half bad. <laughs> Rachel goes for her bread with strawberry jam. Isn't mm. that just the happiest uh -huh. expression ever? Lastly, wasabi, which is unlikely to bring a smile to Haley's face. No doubt she's wishing she could switch with either <laughs> Rachel or Fred, both of whom are laughing at her misery. To top things off, Fred gave Haley a bite of his spicy mustard snack, and that right there is a killer combo. Haley will not look back at this round with fondness <laughs> at all. Poor girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have reached the final hurdle. In front of our trio is celery sticks, pickled baby corn, and one plumped sweet strawberry. As they say, he who laughs last, laughs hardest. And Haley is wrapping things up on a high note. Isn't that just the best when you're landed with something both tasty and healthy? But really, after her mouthful of wasabi mustard, you can't fault her for enjoying that strawberry, nor for rubbing it in to the other two's faces. Fred fulfills the challenge by eating his mini corns on the cob, albeit without any enthusiasm Ooh. whatsoever. You probably know at least one of those people who cannot stand the taste of celery in the least. Health benefits be damned. Rachel just happens to be one of those. What she wouldn't give for another plate of fries or even more jam right now. That was our color-coded food challenge. We hope each of our contestants had the chance to eat something delicious and that your mouth watered at some point while watching. See you later, alligator.